Question 30 of the Black Time Boys 2020 trial. A gardener plants uh, bed roses. The bed is planted out. The first row has 24 rose plants. The second row has 29. And each succeeding row has 5 more rose plants than the previous row. Calculate the number of rose plants in the 8th row. So this line here, each succeeding row has 5 more than before. That tells us that it's an um, AP, not a GP. So there's a common difference of 5. So we want the 8th row. How many will there be? Well, it's, if we look back at our reference sheet. Um, where is it? Here we go, series and sequences. It's this highlighted one here in yellow. A plus N minus 1D. So A is the first term, which is 24, plus N minus 1 is 7, and the difference is 5. So 24 plus 35, 59. There are 59 rose plants in the 8th row. Which row would be the first to contain more than 150 rose plants? So this time we're going to use the same formula, but we need to work out what n is equal to. So we've got the nth term, where we're going to say is equal to 150. Uh, and then we can work out which one has more than 150. So 150 is equal to a plus n minus 1d, which is 5. So now it's a, no it's a normal equation for us to solve. 126 is equal to 5n minus 5. 131 is equal to 5n. So n is equal to 26.2. Therefore, the row that would contain more than 150 rows plants has to be in the 27th row. Okay, we do not round down. Okay, if you have time in the exam to double check your answer, you can. So what I would do is I would just say, oh, how many would there be in the 26th row? It would be 24 plus 25 times 5. And we put that in our calculator. We get 149. So the 26th row only has, has 149 rows plants. Therefore, the 27th row will have 154 because it's five more. Part C. The gardener has planted 2,895 rose plants altogether. Assuming that the above pattern has been continued, how many rows were planted? So this tells us the word altogether means it's a sum. So I'm going to go back to my uh, formula sheet. I'm going to be using one of these. I'll be using um, this formula here. Okay. S of n is equal to n over 2 uh, times 2a plus n minus 1d. So S of n is equal to n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So we know that uh, that's going to equal to 2,895, but we don't know what n is equal to. We do know what a is equal to, and we do know what d is equal to, so we need to work out what n is, the number of rows. So we've got 2,895 is equal to n over 2 times a was 24. So 2 times 24 is 48 plus n minus 1 d, d is 5. Okay, so I'm just going to multiply both sides by 2. 
5790 is equal to n bracket 48 plus, I'm just going to expand this out, 5n minus 5, or make that 43 plus 5n. I'm going to expand that out again. 43n plus 5n squared. Then I'm going to move everything to one side, make it equal to zero, make it a quadratic, and then can solve that. So n squared is already positive. I'm going to move the 5,690 to the other side. So I have 5n squared plus 43n minus 5,790 is equal to zero. And now I'm just going to use the quadratic formula to see um, what that gives me. Because I, I just can't be bothered uh, trying to factorize this. So n is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. However, we probably won't need the minus. Let's just double check that. So we've got minus 43 Actually, let's put it, in, put it back in normal mode. Minus 43 plus the square root of 43 squared minus 4 times 5 times minus 5790 all over 2 times 5, 30. Okay, or we put the minus in, it will give us a negative answer, and that's not possible, right? We can't have a negative row. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to get rid of this minus sign here. Okay, just the plus. So therefore, n is 30. Therefore, it has to be the 30th row. 30, 30 rows were planted.